Today's video is quick and easy. It's a recipe that I've been making on repeat and it is so good, so I had to share it here in a YouTube video. Basically just an easy version of cauliflower fried rice, which if you haven't seen riced cauliflower, this is what it looks like. It's basically just cauliflower in a food processor. So if you don't have access to it or you wanna make it at home, it's a little less expensive that way. It really is a good rice substitute, but you have to cook it the right way because in the past I've tried it and I thought it was really gross, but with this recipe, with the right seasonings, it's really good. So this is kind of like a Thai coconut inspired recipe. So I'm gonna first make the sauce and I will set that aside and then we'll get to chopping the vegetables. So for this recipe, the base of it is one fourth cup coconut cream I've got here, and then we're gonna add a little bit of lime juice, some ginger, some garlic, and a little bit of salt. So next I'm gonna prepare all my vegetables. I like to cook the vegetables first and make sure they're like sauteed and pretty much almost done before you add the cauliflower because it doesn't take very long to cook. So I like to start most recipes with onion and garlic. It's really good for your immunity. It adds so much flavor. And for this one, I really loaded up the garlic because it just gives it a lot of flavor. So you're gonna to wanna to do those first. Um, we're cooking it in coconut oil. I'd always recommend cooking in either coconut oil or avocado oil, especially if you're gonna cook at high heat. And for this one, the coconut oil just kind of adds to that like coconut, Thai, like lime taste, so it's perfect. So for today's stir fry, I'm gonna use zucchini. I actually had a little bit left over in my fridge that I didn't use from a different recipe, so that's why I'm using this. Literally using any celery that I had left over, any veggies will work here. And then I'm gonna load it up with a lot of broccoli. So I'm gonna prep all of these too. So I'm adding all of my veggies back to this bowl. You know, if I really wanted to do this like slowly, I might do the celery and broccoli first and then add the zucchini, but I find that when you just want a quick meal, this totally works. So I have my onions and garlic. I'm going to saute first once they become translucent and fragrant. That's kind of the rule of thumb. You can add the rest of the veggies once those start to cook. We're gonna add the sauce and the cauliflower and then it's done. So I'm gonna add a little bit of raw coconut oil. Because it's coconut oil and it's safe to heat at high temperatures, I actually put it on like medium to medium high heat and it cooks pretty quickly. And then I'll add the onions and garlic. Now adding in the broccoli and the celery and the zucchini. Sometimes I add a little bit more oil as I go, just seeing if it needs it. I'm pretty generous with the coconut oil, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I'm gonna add in the rice cauliflower. Now the vegetables are pretty soft. I like them not too soft, so this is the perfect amount. I like to add a little in and kind of gauge how much I want, mix it around a little bit. I'm gonna add in my sauce now too. So this is the final recipe. Honestly, it's so good and so filling and it really satisfies you. I think the same way like a fried rice would. I usually eat portions about this big because it's very light and it actually really, really fills you up because of all the fiber. So I hope you guys enjoy this. You can try a variation of your own. Let me know if you like these quick recipe videos instead of you know always going into topics, maybe just having a new file of just backlogs of recipes. So I will see you guys next time. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you get notified of my new videos.